Now the speed index is now 10.8 seconds, which is awful. Going back to our uh, little graph there, we probably would have lost about 50 to 60% of our audience just from that alone. How's it going people? Jeffrey from Ecom Geeks. Today we're going to be talking about website speed and why it's important. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you've been in e-commerce for a little bit, I'm sure you've heard about speed and the speed of your website and how that can affect sales. So why, why is website speed important? Website speed is important for one reason, bounce. How often customers are actually going to go into your site, wait for it to load, get frustrated, and then leave without even seeing your website. And that is super important. Taking a look at this graph from Pingdom, which is one of the website speed testers we're going to be taking a look at, you can see that the percentage of uh, the number of people that are going to bounce away from your website increases drastically. Uh, even just past the three second mark, you can see that already 10% of your potential customers are already bouncing away. That, that is the big thing, keeping your website load speed at three seconds or less. That's how you want it, and if you have it more than that, then you are greatly decreasing your potential for profit. So super, super important things. A number of you will have website load speeds that are greater than three seconds, and a lot of customers or a lot of Shopify store owners uh, will actually download you know, a, a speed improvement app, and I'd highly, highly recommend against those. It, uh, it makes it look on paper, quote unquote on paper, from a speed test it makes it look like things are loading faster but it's not actually loading your website faster. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult to describe, it's more like the test results look good, but the actual load speed is still not that great. So definitely stay away from those kinds of apps because they can actually slow your site down, ironically. So uh, definitely stay away from that. Now, once we got that out of the way, there are exactly four things that we have to pay attention to. Now that is uh, images, videos, slash GIFs, uh, large home pages, and finally, too many apps. So let's go through this one by one, and uh, but let's let's do it with a bit of an example, a bit of a demo here. So first things first, how do you actually tell how fast or how slow your website is? Well, there are two sites that I'd recommend. One is GT Metrics, and the other is Pingdom. So you can search both of these up on Google, super easy to find. Uh, personally, I actually prefer uh, GT Metrics because I find it a little bit more easy to read. Um, so we're gonna be mostly focusing on that, but both of them are really, really great and you can actually use both. So here is our original site. Uh, there's a couple added apps there uh, that translated between, but uh, this is our basic store and doing a, a speed test on it, we can just simply enter this here and click that and then we'll start analyzing what we have. So we've now let GT Metrics analyze our website. Now I do recommend you do this at least three times because you can get varying results based on server location and a whole bunch of other stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Do it at least three times just to make sure you got it right. So the biggest thing that we care about, one, we only care about our homepage because after people are connected to our site, as long as it's not crazy slow between pages, um, all the rest of your pages should load faster than your homepage because your homepage typically has the most in terms of images, videos, etc., etc. So that is what we care about most. That's why we're always going to be testing our homepage and none of the sub pages underneath. Now you can see that you know I got you know got an A and blah blah blah. What does that actually mean? Well, the biggest thing that we care about is actually the load time. So I'm going to click on performance here and you can actually see the speed index, uh, 4.28 milliseconds. That's really, really good. Um, so, you know, it, it can say that, you know, the total load time was 11.2 seconds, but people could start actually interacting with the website after about half a second, which is pretty good, but there's still a little bit concern there, to be honest. Um, so the big thing that we want to look at if we want to try and troubleshoot this is what's called the waterfall. And uh, the waterfall is just basically the order in which things get loaded and how long it takes them to load. So I'm not going to get too in depth here because, I mean, the vast majority of stone owners are not, are not programmers, right? So let's, uh, let's get to what we care about. So you can see that most of this stuff is loading it pretty well and it's, you can kind of actually understand what's going on here a little bit. You know, you got your theme file here, uh, ladies uh, sizes, um, 
you know, I, I can see that there's some things here. Uh, you know, there's some stuff from Pexels in terms of GIFs that I've input in there. Um, there's just, uh, you can kind of notice some of these things. Now, what do you care about in terms of, you know, even though you can tell what they are, what, which ones should you care about? The ones you should care about are the ones that take forever to load. So you can see near the bottom here that things start to really go crazy. So you can see that there's, you know, a Pexels thing, two Pexels, which are going to be GIFs. Um, and uh, I got my post product here and then I actually have this product that doesn't exist anymore so I've got you know quote unquote best pan, uh, sweatpants ever so if I remove that that was uh, definitely improve things a lot and then there's post impression and so that is actually a an app it's um, it's an app that, that yeah uh, it's supposed to improve my store but actually takes eternity to load so that is the basics. Now this was my vanilla store. Uh, I, I did have to add some apps because the intent was to actually slow my website down. So you know this is the the vanilla version. Now we're gonna go over to the messy one in hopes of actually slowing our website down so we can show what what can speed things up here. So this is my my slowed down gummed up version of our, our home page. There's a lot going on here. I've got larger images. I've got a video. These guys are really big images. Um, you know, I've, I've added more sections. I've added, uh, you know, one of our products here that has, you know, an iframe embedded in it. Uh, and I got a random, you know, GIF inserted in here. Um, you know, a whole bunch of random stock footage, etc. I've just basically made my homepage exceptionally large and uh, just done all the things that you shouldn't do. You can also see, and I've you know mentioned, uh, we've got a couple apps going on. We, you know, rewards, spin the wheel, free shipping over orders over you know etc. Amount. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on here. So uh, let's do a retest and see where we're at. Okay, so things aren't looking so great. We got a pretty bad score, but like I said, what we really care about is the speed index. Now the speed index is now 10.8 seconds, which is awful. Going back to our uh, little graph there, we probably would have lost about 50 to 60% of our audience just from that alone. So this is a very, very bad thing. Uh, you can you know, get the basic breakdown, but really you're going to have to take a look at the waterfall to see what's actually slowing things down like crazy. So let's just scroll down here and we can see that things start to go pretty back, bad around here. So we've got video playback here. So that's one of my videos, either you know, the one near the top where you know, this one's going on here. It could be on my, my product one. So there's you know, this video going on in the background. There was also some GIFs, you know, like, oh, clothing together, it's so great, you know? Um, and then a random, completely random GIF just to, to add more content. So uh, it could be, it could be a, a lot of those things. Sometimes you can figure it out just by hovering or by expanding it a little bit. Um, honestly, if you've got a video on your page, you're gonna probably be able to pick out which one it is. Uh, if you even have more than one in the first place. Uh, you can start to see, you know, there's the other video playback times and et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, there's there's a lot of things going on. Full wheel. This is the uh, you know that the app we had you know in terms of discounts. That's slowing us down like crazy. Uh, there's the other app here. There's there's all sorts of things going on. So let's uh, let's go through and go through our, our biggest most important things. So the first big thing we're going to talk about are images. Now. I love PNG images because they're the ones that you can have a transparent background. For example, like these ones here are, are PNGs, you know, the, the outline of the person that's full and then anything, uh, if the background were to be red or blue or anything like that, uh, then with a PNG, you know, the, the background of the image would follow suit, it's just the image itself is not. That being said, PNG images are massive compared to JPEGs. JPEGs are what you should be using on, especially on your homepage, unless you have something specific like, you know, you need a PNG because of like a background or your product or, or something like that. Um, and that being said, like PNGs are not the end of the world. And there's a lovely thing you can do, which is compress images. And you can do this for PNGs and you can do this for JPEGs. You can even just search up on Google, you know, image compressor. And, uh, you know, there's a ton of free ones there. I, 
read reviews, use whichever ones you want. Um, there's, there's other ways of doing it as well. But um, yeah, you, you need to minimize the size of your images and put as many JPEG images as you can. So the, uh, the, the heading images that I have here, my hero banner, uh, this guy here is a massive PNG. So if I change this over to what we had before, which was, let's see here, let's go through this guy here. So this is a JPEG instead. And you can see that, you know, this is, st is still a really nice looking image. You know, it's not like it's lower quality. It's just the way that it's, it's coded. Uh, it doesn't need to worry about being translucent or different layers or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you know, just by doing that, awesome. Uh, that'll definitely speed us up already. Um, video. So this, is, this video here is actually put in through the, the theme itself. And what it's is doing is it's actually grabbing a, a YouTube link. And because it's grabbing a YouTube link as opposed to trying to grab it th from a, another company or another website and you know having to go through one to the next to actually grab the, the video, um, it's just putting YouTube Shopify set up for this. So this video is actually not slowing us down. So the next thing we have going on here, like I briefly mentioned, are these giant PNG images here. So if I was to go through and let's just hide this for now. Let's just hide those three sections. Um, this is also a very large image. That being said, it is a JPEG. So I'm gonna keep that, and these are all JPEGs as well. Um, I'm going to remove this product here from my home page. I probably could keep it if I wanted to because with this particular video, I actually downloaded it uploaded it to the back end of my Shopify store and then got a link to it. So, so Shopify is already has this video in its server. It doesn't have to ask another website, which asks another website to load the video so that it can go trickle all the way back to my website. So this one could probably stay in there. Uh, that being said, I did insert like a random GIF in it. Um, so it's probably gonna slow things down for sure. So I am actually going to remove that image there uh, let's see where are we here featured products. So I'm gonna hide that there uh, And this one here because that one was just a random gift that I put in um, Just to just to slow things down a little bit more um, And then we've got some text columns with images. So these images are actually very large as well. They're JPEGs though um, And I've got my featured collection and that's pretty much it So I'm gonna leave in some of the things that even though they're larger, they should still not affect my website as much. So I'm gonna click save and let's see how this goes. So already you can see that, that we have greatly improved. Now, like I said, don't really worry about like the A or performance. The big thing that you care the, the most about is your speed index. And just with removing those GIFs, with removing those PNG images, I've already corrected my website. So on my own site, if I wanted to, I could leave, you know, this video here that I've embedded from YouTube. I could leave these images and these, Im these, these images are huge, by the way, the files are huge, but they're JPEGs. So relative to PNGs, they are very, very tiny. Uh, so I could just keep things as is, and that would be totally enough. Looking at the bottom of the waterfall, you can see that there's a couple things going on. Most of it is actually related to, to apps. Uh, so that that is one of the major issues. Another th big thing that's going on here is I have this uh, this product that is no longer in my site that is trying to point to. It's you know best uh, sweatpants ever. So that is causing a, a 404 error, which is this column here. So as long as there is nothing in your waterfall that starts with a five or a four, you are good to go. Uh, in this case, we do have a 404 error. Um, this guy right here that we were looking at. So I should probably go through, find where I put a link to this product that no longer exists and get rid of it. Now, the other things here, these are all apps. And that's, uh, that's something that I'd like to talk about a lot. The more apps you get, the more cross interaction you get between different apps. Uh, you know, this is, this is especially important, um, even more so if you're not using a, a free Shopify theme. Uh, i.e. A, a theme that's uh, supported by Shopify. So um, it's, uh, things start to interact really poorly with the code and you know things kind of dogpile on top of each other, things get in interactive. Anyways, the, the end of the day, don't put too many apps on your store. Uh, you know, use the ones that you need to, 
if there's something that's slowing you down, uh, get rid of it and use an alternative or, you know, hire from somebody from Fiverr that does know how to code and say, look, I need this, I need this website improved, you know, bing, bang, boom. Um, that being said, a lot of this stuff you can really do yourself unless it's, you know, a, a dire sort of circumstance. So that's, uh, those are kind of the, the big, the big things, you know, uh, images, uh, videos and GIFs, especially, you know, GIFs, uh, large homepage and, uh, you know, apps. So if you get those under control, you can usually speed things up pretty quickly so you can make sure you can get as many conversions as possible. So there you go. There's our video on website speed. Now tell me, what parts did I miss out on? What parts did you appreciate the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Take care and catch you next time.